In this lecture, we're going to look at events in MySQL. An event is a task or a block of SQL code that gets executed according to a schedule. It can get executed once or on a regular basis, like every day at 10 a.m. or once a month and so on. So with events, we can automate database maintenance tasks, such as deleting stale data or copying data from one table into an archive table or aggregating data to generate reports. So events are very powerful. Now, before we can schedule an event, we need to turn on MySQL Event Scheduler. That's basically a process that runs in the background and it constantly looks for events to execute. Let me show you. So here we type show variables and here we can see all the system variables in MySQL. As we can see, we have quite a few variables here. We only want to see the event scheduler variable. So here we use the like operator, like event percent. So we want to see only the variables whose name start with event, right? Take a look. Here we have event scheduler, which is set to on by default. At your organization, this might be turned off to save system resources. If that's the case, you can turn it on using the set statement. So we type set global event scheduler. We set this to on. Or if you don't want to use events, you can turn this off to save system resources. So you're not going to have that background process that is constantly checking for events to execute. Okay. Now let me show you how to create an event. First, we need to change the default delimiter. Then we use the create event statement. We give our event a name like yearly delete stale audit rows. So it's a good practice to start our events name with this interval, like hourly, daily, monthly, or once if this event is going to get triggered only once. With this convention, we can easily find all the events that get triggered every month or every year or once. So after the event name, we type on schedule. And here we're going to provide a schedule for this event. How often do we want to execute this task? Once or on a regular basis? If you want to execute it only once, here we use the at keyword followed by a date time value, like 2019, May 1st. That's one way. If you want to execute this on a regular basis, instead of the at keyword, we use the every keyword with an interval, like every one hour or every two days or every one year depending on what we want to implement every one year. Now here we can optionally give it a start time. Start, let's say 2019, January 1st. We can also optionally specify an end time. So ends, let's say 2029, January 1st. So both these parts are optional, okay? Then we type do followed by begin and end. And obviously here we need to type our new delimiter and then change the default delimiter back to a semicolon. Now in the body of this event, we can write code like this. Delete from payments underline audit where action underline date is less than, we get the current date time and then subtract one year from it. So interval one year. Earlier you learned about the date add and date sub functions. This expression that we have here is exactly equivalent to using the date add or date sub functions. For example, here we could call date add, pass the current date time, and then interval one year. Well, here we should have passed a negative value to go back one year, or we could use the date sub function and pass a positive value here, like this. We can also calculate the date like this. That's easier, right? So with this event, we're going to delete all the audit records that are older than one year. Okay. Let's go ahead and create this event. Beautiful. 